Right, Monday, 1st of June, start of summer, start of a new three month plan for myself and let's get this vlog back on the air. Let's see what the plan is for the day. Right, let's have a look at training peaks. First week of June, what's the plan? So we've got just under 14 hours this week, 815 TSS. So today we've got a wee easy recovery ride because we've got a big power test, the Mora test and 60 minute power. Then we've got an interval session on Wednesday, an interval session Thursday, Friday's a day off, Saturday more intervals, Sunday more intervals. So that is the plan for the week. And if we open the calendar as well, we've also today, we've got a coaching call with my coach at two. I'm also doing a podcast interview at 4 p.m. And then on Friday, I'm doing another podcast. And then I'm doing a call with PR guys to do well X and O for some stuff we're doing. And then Friday, I'm actually doing an online public speaking thing, giving a talk for a company who's doing an event, an online event. So I've not done really any public speaking in a while. So that'll be, that'll be fun. So that's the plan this week. So because the day is a, just an easy hour on the bike, I'm going to go low carb today because I've been really cycling my carbs recently and I've been really enjoying it. So when I'm, when I'm on a hard training day, which is like four days a week, I'll have, you know, really high carb to fuel those sessions. But on my, my rest days and my lighter days on the bike, I'm actually going low carb now, which I've been really enjoying and experimenting with and it's going really well. So the day I'm going to go low carb again and that's just really for getting the body better at burning fat for fuel as well as carbs. So I've been really positively surprised by how easy I'm finding that and so I'm really enjoying that. I'm going to stick at that and keep working on that. So low carb the day. Right, so my low carb breakfast of choice is a six egg omelette there we go nice sweet omelette sitting in the conservatory beautiful day right just an easy hour recovery ride in the bike today so i'm only going out with some protein low carb ride here we go nice sweet easy hour in the bike and another low carb ride successfully done and so really enjoying doing them on my, on my light recovery days and surprisingly finding it just so easy actually you know body just I've done a lot of low carb stuff in the past and my body obviously remembers what it's like to burn fat for fuel so that's really going to help me going forward you know so I'm going to stick at that so aye all in all good session low carb ride right today's post ride nutrition is brought to you by <laughs> apples and cashews I would actually love to be sponsored by nuts or like apples i don't know if it's possible if an apple company would ever sponsor me because i just fucking love apples and i love cashews and i love eating healthy so post the nutrition get some carbs into me because i've not had any of the day yet and some protein from the cashews cashews are so good man these are the absolute business mm. i don't need to my head out man <laughs> wild some good stuff. This is the book that I'm reading at the moment. My wee brother gave it to me because he had it. Mike Tyson. I fucking love boxing so much, man. And I'm also always keen to study and read about other champions and how they became who they became. Success leaves clues. So just finished the call with my coach. Absolutely incredible. It's just one of, one of the best hours of my life. Oh, so much fun and so exciting. Just absolutely smashed the power test last week and you know. For my one minute power, done like almost 700 watts for an hour. Um, sorry, for a, for a minute. <laughs> and done 461 watts for five minutes. So, you know, um, that's like pro, domestic pro level power that I just put out more watts per kilo. So that's after seven or seven weeks of interval training. And so it's very exciting. Gary actually just said to me there that I've done like two years of progress. Like that's like the equivalent of like two years of progress given where I was six or seven weeks ago when we started this, so. Special times, from what I will say, is that a lot of people doubt me, a lot of people criticise me, a lot of people mock me, a lot of people probably even laugh at me, a lot of people think that I'm mental, a lot of people think that I'm crazy, a lot of people think that I'm deluded, a lot of people think that I'm never going to achieve the dreams that I've set for myself, but what I will say is that the reason why I'm achieving these numbers right now 
the number one driving force behind the reason why I'm smashing these tests is because I have a massive fucking vision. I have a massive dream. And the courage and balls to put it out there and tell the world, this is who I am, this is what I'm going to do. And my body is just responding to that vision. The higher the ceiling is, the higher you can fly. And the reason I'm growing is because I've got that big vision. And we've got a good plan, I've got an amazing coach, I've got amazing sponsors. And together it's all coming together. And so, you can laugh at me, you can doubt me, you can mock me, but it's fucking happening. So, you can come and join us, or you can always be one of the people who doubted me. And when I get to the top, and I win all the things I'm going to win, you're going to look stupid. That's going to be a nice moment for me, so... You know, it won't be long. We're only a few years away from this. Becoming yellow. This will be yellow. The real yellow. And it's because I believed. Right, I'm, <laughs> I'm just laughing at my ear, man. It's so outrageous. I'm now just about to do a podcast interview. Unleash Your Inner Greatness is the podcast. Obviously, pretty fired up about that. It's a... It's a cool name, you know, interested in that stuff, greatness, being the best you can be. It's just right up my street. So fired up, going to go for it, give the fucking performance of my life and have some fun. There we go, done. Woo! Fired up. Love doing that. Done a lot of podcasts recently. I would genuinely do one of them every single day if, there was, if the demand was there. Like I would, I don't know how they could ever say not to doing that. Just so much fun. So what time is it? It's half five. Been quite a busy, productive day, you know, had to go up to the bike shop earlier, been out in trend, done a podcast, called my coach. That's really it, just going to get dinner now and just chill. So, aye, yeah, things are good, life's good, feeling in the zone, feeling confident. Bad I need a fucking haircut, but hey-ho, so does half the country, yeah.